Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about pheromones. And if you know what pheromones are, raise your hand. Okay, I can't see who's raising their hand, so I'm just going to talk anyway. So basically what pheromones are, they are attractants that typically form in the body. They are uh, hormones that come out of you in your sweat. And they are used naturally to attract your partner or they're used to make someone feel attracted to you so nature in nature we use that as humans we don't notice it we don't do it on purpose animals also use it to attract their partners or their mates and scientists have found ways to simulate pheromones and use them in products so i did a thesis on this back in college and i did a whole speech and presentation and I talked about animals and I showed a video of animals having sex after emitting pheromones and cool stuff like that but we're not going to do that today we're just going to talk about this one so this is the Adam and Eve pheromone massage oil in the strawberry scent and what I have done starting today was lather myself or slather myself with this pheromone oil and I went outside and I went to work so for the next four days, this one makes five, I will be doing the same thing every day and chronicling my experience to see if this pheromone oil actually is doing something. So today I wore a cute outfit to work, covered myself in this oil and got bombarded with compliments, but I couldn't tell if it was because I was cute or if it was because of the pheromones. So. I don't want to have a biased study because I think that's weird. So tomorrow I'm just going to go to work looking regular. And I don't know what that means, but probably some joggers and a t-shirt and a sweater because we can dress business casual. And then I'm going to see what happens if I still get the same attention that I got today because I did have on heels and had on a cute dress. No makeup or anything like that, but I did have on lip gloss. I cared, I guess you can say. I dress like I cared today. So we're gonna try again tomorrow and see what happens. And then I will come back to you guys and let you know. But today was definitely, it made me feel like it was working. I used my same regular perfume. I used all the same regular things that I use, deodorant, toothpaste. I don't usually wear makeup, but for some reason everyone kept complimenting me and telling me how nice I looked and things like that. So I'm wondering if my hormones had something to do with that or if the pheromone oil did. So. Stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to slather it on again and see if my husband notices too. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, bachelors. So it's day two of my pheromone experiment with the Adam and Eve pheromone oil. Strawberry. So day two, not so interesting. I don't know if maybe it's because I was dressed super casual today. As you can see, I have on joggers and a t-shirt and sneakers. Um, just to give you an idea of what I wore to work today. Um, we do get a little bit of business casual at work. So it's not unusual to see sweatpants, joggers, um, Converse. But I didn't really get any compliments which was a bummer. So day two, I kind of feel like it was a bit of a placebo effect yesterday where I knew I was wearing the pheromones and so I felt a little extra va va -voomy. So maybe that's why, maybe I was exuding a little bit more confidence yesterday, but I did look extra cute. So, I mean, that could have really helped. And I had on heels, which, you know, elongates you and kind of gives you a different stride. So. Maybe that's why I got more compliments yesterday. Today, nobody really paid me attention. So that wasn't kind of, uh, wasn't fun, I guess, but I wasn't hurt by it. So tomorrow I am working from home. So I'm going to get cute and go outside. Maybe go to the supermarket, see what happens with the pheromone oil and see if that makes a difference. If anybody interacts with me any more than usual but not really expecting much. But I'm kind of excited because it's fun. 
If it happens, if it doesn't happen, I, I'm not going to be upset, but I do enjoy trying it out and seeing what happens. So tomorrow I will be wearing something decent. I try not to look homeless tomorrow and I'll be hitting the streets and see what happens. So stay tuned. Hey, Bachelors. So day three of my pheromone experiment. Not so exciting. I worked from home today, so there really wasn't much to do. So I went outside, went to the supermarket, bought a few items. Nothing. Um, I did get laid last night, so that was a plus. So I guess it worked in that regard. And I do feel like when you are worked up and you're getting prepared for activity, then your pheromones and your hormones do kind of activate and maybe amplify a little bit. So that was good. But other than that, wax sauce, no action for me today. But I'll be back in the office tomorrow, so I am going to get dressed and get va va -lumi and try again and see what happens. So not much activity to report today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey Vashers, so it's day five of my pheromone experiment and I have to say that Today was really uneventful. I did get a few compliments. I got a few side glances, but I am also dressed up. So I'm sure that played a role. I have on some dress pants. I had on cute shoes. No makeup as usual. And I also wore my regular perfume that I like to wear every day. Um, I did get a few people tell me that I look nice, I smell nice, but it was nothing out of the ordinary. So. To round off the week, I would say that just like your regular pheromones, the way that they're emitted is going to be based on how you're feeling. So if you're feeling aroused, then your pheromone levels will be going up and they may be more noticeable, especially easier to smell because of that. So since I'm at work, I'm not aroused. I'm not thinking about sex at all. I'm not thinking about anything of that nature. Therefore, the level of pheromones aren't going to be as high. Now, the oil does smell good, so of course I would expect people to tell me that I smell good, but it's not like anyone was hitting on me or, you know, trying to come on to me in any sort of way. Really, what the purpose of the oil is, is to use it with your partner or use it with yourself when you're, you know, massaging yourself for arousal, for foreplay, to get yourself prepared for sex. It's not really supposed to be worn on a daily basis as a perfume, there are perfumes for that, but this particular oil is made for intimacy, specifically. So it was fun to do the experiment, it was fun to see if it actually did anything or had an effect on how people treated me or how people felt towards me, but naturally it's supposed to be used in the bedroom. So I would definitely encourage you to give it a try. It's a great oil, it's really soft to apply, it's not super greasy. It has a nice light scent and it did help me get laid this week so yes so I definitely give the Adam and Eve pheromone massage oil a thumbs up I'm gonna be using it again tonight and I'm going to share the links with you so you can get some of your own if you have any questions as usual you can leave your questions at the bottom of the video or you can email me Kimmy K-I-M-I at vforvag.com but thank you so much for tuning in observing as I did my experiment and I look forward to the next one. Talk to you soon.